Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I am out here on the Harris Channel Lakes here in Central Florida uh, and just practicing for the second stop on the MLF Pro Circuit. And uh, Lake Harris, which I'm on right now, is known to be one of the best offshore grass lakes on this chain. Um, and, uh, and not only offshore grass, but also offshore shell beds and just offshore fishing in general, uh, I'd say probably Harris is, is number one and then maybe, maybe Griffin number two, and then go down the list. It really changes every single year, depending on how the grass is growing this year. There's like no grass at all. So it's, uh, it's, it hasn't been a very fruitful, um, uh, you know, excursion out here to go, uh, find grass. I've only found a, a couple spots that actually have a little bit. Uh, so this is actually the, the least amount of grass I've ever seen out here, but I wanted to quickly go through my process for you guys on how I use my electronics to, uh, to, uh, find hard spots, you know, shell beds and also grass on plane. So as I'm going, you know, 25, 35 miles an hour, uh, I can find all of those things, but the biggest key is to have a good through hole transducer for your 2D sonar, okay? I've heard of, of guys being able to do this with side imaging on plane. I've never really had a boat that that, um, that that ended up working out. You know, most of the time, once you get on plane, you'll lose connection and you won't be able to see it, but uh, a 2D sonar is really important for this. Uh, and uh, we, we ended up just rigging out this boat at BassBoatElectronics.com. Got to give a big shout out to them because, uh, you know, Jason worked real hard to make this system just flawless and he really did a great job. And we've got a 2D sonar um, epoxied into the bilge for the Lowrance system. Um, which allows me to get on plane and still see everything. So, uh, first off, let me show you how uh, I set this, this up. So, uh, generally I'm running 83 kilohertz here at the console because it has a wider cone angle and I can see a, a larger area, but 200 kilohertz does something special that, that I think is really important for this is that it really helps me distinguish what we call a double echo. So we're gonna go out to 40 feet because I wanna see that double echo. You see right here, we've got the bottom right here. This is the true bottom. And you got some fish there too. Um, but then you've got this double echo and the stronger the double echo, the, the harder the bottom. So the, the, the more defined the double echo is, the harder the bottom. So when I get on plane, and you can see how well he did epoxying this in. Sorry for the wind noise, guys. But as I'm on plane, you can still see the double echo. And of course, you know, everything is, is crisp and clean. And you can, the softer the bottom, the less double echo you see. Now we're kind of in deeper water. We'll be getting to shallow water here. Let's turn, go a little bit shallower. The double echo is, is just kind of like purple, blue, and red, um, and kind of fuzzy. That means that it's it's not quite a very hard bottom, okay? But uh, once you get in an area where you start seeing some the more red and yellow for the double echo, you know, and it may be just a, a very thin strip. As you're moving quickly, you're going to run over those shell beds very quickly, and so you may... It may just be a, a short little uh, stretch of a little bit of yellow. That's going to denote a small, uh, hard, hard bottom. It doesn't necessarily mean a shell bed, but usually where there's hard bottom, there's shell. As you can see, I've, I've been running back and forth out here. Now this may look like grass here. This is actually these are actually schools of shad uh, that are very close to the bottom. When you have just isolated Know, bars like that usually that just means that those are, are schools of shad I'll stop and show you too this, this 
Phoenix turns on a dime. Love this thing. All right, so let's idle and look at this. But you can see what I mean by the double echo. Sometimes it's a little bit clearer, and sometimes it's going to be uh, real sparse and fuzzy. So when it's sparse and fuzzy, it's it's a much softer bottom, and when you can actually see it real well, it's harder bottom. So you could see right there, th that's one of those bars that I drove over. That's just a school of bait fish. You can kind of see it just a little bit on the hummingbird here, mega imaging. But uh, but in general, you know, when I do end up finding some grass, which I don't really have a whole lot of grass to show you guys out here, uh, but when you do end up finding grass, it's more consistent. You'll see those bars, but it'll be, you know, grouped together and it, it won't just be one solitary bar all by itself. Usually that's a school of fish, a school of shad or something like that. Um, but but that is just a, a real quick way to kind of uh, be able to, to, you know, comb a lake, go back and forth with that through hole transducer on plane. You can cover an entire lake, you know, in, in uh, about a day, you know, depending on the size. I mean, Harris, you definitely need about a day to be able to go back and forth and, and find those hard spots and stuff like that. And a lot of those places that I, I do find, um, you know, as far as hard spots and stuff, they're not going to have fish on them. But there's going to be a certain percentage that do and those are going to be the the you know what we call the juice you know it's pretty awesome that you can just go and and be on plane going 35 miles an hour and uh, be able to see everything on the bottom uh and and be able to distinguish those hard bottom spots and also the grass as well and then also, you know, I'll have to do a video on how to tell the difference between certain types of grass because we've got eelgrass out here and hydrilla and both of them look a little bit different on the graph. And so I'm going to have to do one of those as well. But for now, uh, I just wanted to show you guys how to be on plane and, and be able to uh, distinguish hard bottom areas and, and also grass uh, using your, your 2D sonar and your through hole transducer. So, um, again, BassBoatElectronics.com, if you're looking for somebody to rig it out right, your, your boat out right, uh, you know, I've had a lot of different uh, systems throughout the years, but BassBoatElectronics.com has always done it right. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. I'm going to see you out on the water.